Hello, welcome to the set uh, assumption about regression diagnostics in STATA. And that's a linearity uh, assumption. Um, here we focus on the regression line, um, whether it's a straight line or it's a KV line. Uh, in most cases, uh, researchers think that the relationship they are modeling is a linear relationship. But the relationship can sometimes be nonlinear. So we want to avoid the case that you are modeling the wrong relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable. So, well, that is the basic assumption. What people do is the basic assumption, but sometimes it's not a straight line that we have a straight line relationship between Y and uh, X. So that means that any change, a change in X, which should lead to a constant change in Y. This is what we are all been doing, but that can be wrong because it's possible that we have uh, a nonlinear relationship where a change in X may lead to a decrease in Y up to a point and then to go up again. So then when we have a linear relationship, we have two ways, either it's a positive one or it's a negative relationship. Positive one means that increase in uh, X will lead to increase in Y, all right? If it's a negative relationship, then we have uh, increase in X leads to a decrease in Y. This is what we have been doing most of the time. And uh, that is a straight line or linear relationship. However, this is what most people ignore. We can have a nonlinear relationship, um, inverted U shape or concave cap. For example, uh, if you want to model the relationship between H and working memory. So it's possible that as you grow up, as you increase in age, uh, your working memory may increase, okay? May be increasing up to a certain number of years then it will begin to go down. So if you model this relationship as a straight line, when it's supposed to be uh, in U-shape, uh, in <clears throat> better U-shape, then you are having a wrong relationship. You are modeling the wrong one. We can also have a convex relationship where increase in X leads to a decrease in uh, Y up to a certain point then in further increase in um, X will lead to increase in Y. In one of my articles uh, about um, non-performing loans and um, efficiency in microfinance, we found a relationship like this, that's an inverted U-shape. We could also have a polynomial um, curve why we have increase in Y, when X leads to increase in Y, and then decrease again and up again. So you see? So if you ignore this, you are modeling a wrong mo uh, model. So we want to avoid that. Two ways to check for linearity or functional form in Stata. Uh, the first one is to do a bivariate relationship, okay? You can graph the relationship between X and Y, um, and observe how it looks like. The second approach is to graph the relationship between X and Y after a multivariate uh, analysis or regression using the margin command. All right. Let's do that now in Stata and see how it, it goes. We will continue to use the, the automobile data set to do our analysis. So let's get to start now, Stata now and do that in practice. So I look for Stata, all right. I have my do file already open and we want to model uh, linearity, we want to test for linearity or functional form of our, our model. So I have, have to load my data set as before. So I just click auto, and I have the data set loaded. Just be sure I have it here. 
Next, I will, um, first of all, we said we want to do a bivariate relationship. All right. So I will use the command called Lois. So I want to see uh, MPG, for example, is I want to see the relationship between MPG and price of a car. All right. So I'll say no graph, but I want to generate the y hat. So I do that after that, I can do a line a graph to see the relationship between the y hat and then MPG. So I can just run these two. Okay, so here is a graph. Uh, you see, it's not a linear relationship. It's not a straight line. So if I model that as a straight line, I may be doing a wrong modeling. It seems that increase in um, MPG will lead to decrease of the price of a car up to a point, but it's not clear which point. Uh, but then, so this is a clear indication you may have um, a nonlinear model. The next approach is to use two-way graph. You just do scatter plots and see the very raw uh, values and compare the relationship between MPG and that of a pr the price. So do a line fit and we just see how it looks like. Let's do that also. Well, a line fit will short, suggest that we may have um, a negative relationship. Um, Yes, but again, you see the raw values we see is to be the same as the lowest command. Next, we do a bivariate multivariate analysis. Um, so here we run the full model. And then since we already have, um, we already see that probably the relationship is, uh, is nonlinear, then we can see the quadratic relation. So you can just multiply MPG by itself. In Stata, you can use these operators to do that. It's an interaction um, operator. So I'm going to run this multivariate model. OK, so here I'm uh, supposed to see, uh, you see, we have MPG uh, and then its interaction. Both of them are not significant, but I want to see if they were significant, then we can say that while well, we can model, uh, we can model as a quadratic relation. But then we want to check, we want to check the graph. Now I need to use the margin command for MPG for the lowest value and then the highest value. How do we know the lowest value is 12? So I'll do summary statistics. So I'll see it here. So here you see the lowest is 12 and the maximum is 41. So then I want to see the, the differences. So the next one should be 13, so by one, increase by one up to the last value. And after that I can plot and say no confidence interval. So let me run all these and I'll see my result. See the curve. The curve also says we should not, we don't have a linear relationship. You see. However, we see that when we include the um, square of uh, MPG, is not also significant. Then we can probably not uh, proceed to say it's a nonlinear relationship. But this shows that we could probably have it. Then we could also look at the polynomial uh, relationship where we multiply MPG three times. All right. So this is how we test for linearity assumption in Stata. And in the next um, topic will be omitted variable uh, assumption in Stata.